With an imminent release of ACES 1.0, I thought I'll show you in this short video how ACES can help you in practice achieve better looking images. For this particular video, I have a few examples um, how to deal with Alexa overexposed shot, how to match Alexa and red on the same timeline, how to make uh, C300 uh, look better when using ACES and also how to deal with underexposed shot in ACES um, in this example with an F65. Here is a shot um, that is in Alexa Rec 709 mode. It clearly looks slightly overexposed. Now I'm going to put it into ACES. First looks a little bit worse, but now when I apply graded, I'm able to bring back all of that highlight detail. So here is again this shot Rec 709, and here is the shot with ACES and grade applied to it. Now what's going to happen when I put a shot uh, uh, that was shot on with the red camera next to it in ACES. So here it is. So I'm going to copy exactly that same grade that I have applied to Alexa to this red shot. And as you can see, these two shots look co almost completely identical. I have just applied exactly the same grade on the same timeline, one shot with Alexa and one with red. Here we have um, another example that was shot with a C300 um, here I tried to give it a little bit more contrast, but as you can see, I still have a little problem with the highlight detail that I'm not able to recover that highlight detail. Now, now this is what happens when I put that same shot um, into ACES color space, I'm able to bring back all of that highlight detail and get much more pleasing image. Here is another example of a very underexposed shot that was shot with F65. Now, when I put that shot into ACES color space, I'm actually able to apply a grade to it and bring some of the detail back. If you would like to find out more about ACES and would like to learn about theory and the practice of ACES, then you can find out more at www.mytherapy.tv forward slash training.